Julius's turn to pick. Brogy, can they burst him down? They're gonna try for Gore to start. Flame break to fall, and they'll lasso him and pull him down. EG with their first kill of the game, they get on the board at the same time. Couldn't like chat at the same time, and they zip in. Kuroki goes way deep on design, pulling him in, silencing him as well, committing heavily, but there's a mech. I'm not sure if he realized that. And at the same time, they turn and they look to fight. So they have detection here. Nothing for Kuroki. Actually, he's been spotted out now. He's Arteezy lost. jumping in. He's isolated. Kuroki's first use of that orchid ends completely in failure. And now Universe wants a secondary kill. Sticking Napalm on the S4, four-stepped again. In there, they, they're probably like nine. Uh-oh, we're gonna have a rumble now. EG charging up the hill, Ravage. Connects only on Big Daddy. There was a BKB from S4, he got it off in time. As Arteezy charges in on top of Kuroki, tries to finish off that Storm Spirit, he retreats. He's not able to live. Now they have them where they want them, on the run. Puppy munched, it's three dead in the end. They got the Elder Titan with the Ravage, Arteezy ran down the Storm, and the Marana was just collateral on the way out, and that was with a BKB dodge of the Ravage, EG. Spirit, but he only hit, I think, one with the Ravage, and they still won the team fight. Yeah, just the Elder Titan, I'm pretty sure. The Batman's got an initiation, he jumps in a curl, as for trying to counter-initiate. Ravage was used by Fear, and it did absolutely nothing that time around. Now, perhaps, Secret can turn this fight. No, maybe not. They run in regardless, but the roar from Zai, they still get one kill. They chase further into the base. Arteezy getting hyper-aggressive on the Simba. We'll run him down. Fear cleans it up. They still get two and are left unpunished, despite a complete airball of a Ravage. Was it the spirit that can't... Still sitting there. They're gonna walk right past it. Uh, Kuroki not grabbing it yet. The ping comes out for Puppy. He's spotted it and he snatches it. Meanwhile, mid lane, they're jumping onto Simba. Fear looking to punish Simba with the hero that served him so well. He'll do so. Arteezy was uh, involved in that one a bit earlier. At the same time, they go into S4 top lane. The swap prevents the TP out. EG grabbing two quick kills around the map. S4 is making quick work of this tower. EG not getting quite as clean of a trade as like, and Big Daddy is slowing them down with the stop. They're going to TP in now. They go with the last one, S4. The follow-ups here from Fear. S4 unable to BKB. That's Ravage number one and two. All of it for the Sven. At the same time, they're still working on the base. They took a first lane of Rax Kuroki, trying to trade, but Arteezy levels up. He morphs into the big bad wolf and charges in. He gets stomped, though. Really nice chain stun. He may die once, even twice. Oh, my God. This could be very bad. He comes back as a walking wolf. No mobility for Arteezy, focused by everyone on secret. That's the best possible trade in the world. They lost to tier three. It does force out a Sven buyback. He's gonna blink through the dire base. No ravages, they only have roar. They'll bring down one Rex, but now they roar him, and then they focus him with the lasso. This could be a dieback from S4. He will end up falling immediately dead for 75 seconds, and now the chase is on. The route may be on. Arteezy just <laughs> shredding puppy and looking for more. He's got Necro Book, eyes on the secret. Continues to munch through this Elder Titan, but he's lost the extra vision. Moonlight Shadow gonna be wearing off soon. At the same time, Universe brought down the Ogre Magi, and now they spot out Kuroki, nearly out of mana. Shiva's cooling down. He no longer has his ult for 30 seconds as Kuroki continues to retreat. He has almost enough for a very small zip. The pop is Shiva's instead. Arteezy, 20 seconds off his ult. Universe's lasso might cool down before Kuroki gets to the base. They chase him across this map. They already lost three, and it looks like sooner or later it'll be four. There's your blanket. Kuroki did fall as well. They got a range rack. It cost them four heroes, and now EG can break the base with double ravage and a casual basher on fear. Just the fact that they have them is affecting how Secret play this game. They feel desperate to force fights when they're down, and they just don't defend or, or take fights where they otherwise might. EG taking a second lane of Rax here. Uncontested for now, Arteezy will be stunned. He has a BKB, nice swap out. And though it's the same time, it's the double ravage from Fear. He throws out the Shivas as well, focusing Simba. They've dealt with the Sven again. He's dead for a long time, and Arteezy is chasing Secret into their well. GG any second, another team wipe, triple kill. And we got ourselves a ball game. This best of five just became a best of three. That draft from PPD, though. The block pick on this Tidehunter really seemed to pay off, and the I whole draft worked the, out. You're the first pick, Lycan, too. Like yeah. they just, they're like, okay, well, what do we do versus Lycan? They ganked him. They, they shut him, him down early, but I, they just didn't shut him down enough. Back to the drawing board for Puppy and Company.